This is a screen recording of uh, Auto Flight Logic's autopilot, and we will load the flight plan that you're going to see here in a minute. And let's go through some of the uh, some of the uh, mission settings. This is a waypoint mission. Uh, this is not intended to be a detailed tutorial on uh, autopilot. Auto Flight Logic's uh, website actually does a pretty good job of that so uh, we'll leave that to them a uh, couple of things of note however uh, under lost connection we say we want to end the mission and that uh, means that we will be using the sophisticated mode where the aircraft is actually being controlled in real time by this software running on the iPad as opposed to using the API uh, approach, which is what Litchi does, uh, to upload a command sequence to uh, the aircraft's memory, and then it executes those commands in sequence and can continue to execute them even if uh, the signal between the remote control and the aircraft is lost. Uh, you can run autopilot in that mode as well. However, a lot of the features disappear, and that also is explained on uh, Auto Flight Logic's uh, website. So anyway, let's take it. We're going to end the mission, which means we're going to use the advanced feature set. Uh, the mission type is patrol. We're only going to go through the patrol one time. Uh, mission completion, just hover where you are. Uh, our default altitude is 50 feet, default speed is 5 miles an hour. Uh, it's a closed flight plan, meaning the first waypoint is the end point. When it hits the last waypoint in the flight plan, it will then return to the first waypoint where it started and hover there. We have four waypoints here. We're using the Bezier, I hope I pronounced that correctly, curves, uh, with a 70% corner rounding. We're using focus triggers, and uh, we turn the camera on when we engage this mission and uh, stop the camera when the mission completes. So uh, let's pull up the map, and the reason that I am using autopilot for this flight rather than Litchi is because of autopilot's feature that allows you to separate focus triggers from waypoints so that places where the aircraft does something differently changes course, changes speed, changes altitude or whatever uh, and where the camera f changes what it's pointed at uh, are separate in autopilot so that you can have waypoints to control the aircraft focus triggers and camera triggers to start, stop, and control the aiming uh, of the camera. And I wanted to do something with this flight that requires interpolating some camera trigger information, and I'll show you the clue as we zoom way out here. See that point of interest number three way up there at the top? That's up there simply to be used to cause the camera to pan up and pick up a good uh, segment of the sky during the uh, waypoint three to waypoint four uh, segment of this mission. Let's take a real quick look at the waypoint settings. Uh, they're pretty straightforward. Uh, waypoint one starts out at 50 feet, running at five miles an hour. Then waypoint two, which is, uh, you can't really see, I guess, because of the iPad, but anyway, that's also 50 feet, uh, five miles per hour. But when we get to waypoint three, uh, we're using an interpolated altitude, which is going to be between waypoint two and four. We're interpolating the altitude, altitude between those two, and we've set a higher preferred speed of 10 miles per hour. So after the aircraft passes waypoint 2 on its way 
to waypoint 3, it will begin to accelerate up to 10 miles an hour so that when it crosses waypoint 3, it will be at 10 miles per hour. Then let's go on to waypoint 4. Waypoint 4 is all the way up at 300 feet and uh, a 10 mile per hour uh, as well, preferred speed. And the other thing that we can do, even with curved uh, paths in autopilot, is we can have waypoint actions, quite a few of them, but the one that I'm using is a five second pause, don't do anything with the camera as far as turning it on or off or, or any of that kind of stuff. Just pause at that waypoint, hover at that waypoint for uh, five seconds. And then it will proceed back to waypoint one and end the mission. So then let's take a look at, let me hit done here, let's take a look at some of the uh, focus triggers. I will just pick one that's easy to hit with my finger and then we can move around. Uh, okay, let's go back here to focus trigger one. This one says the focus strategy is subject. Uh, the other options are uh, direction, like a compass heading. Uh, joystick, you can control uh, the camera, where the camera is pointed with the joystick. Uh, pattern, meaning I think you can do a grid pattern kind of thing. Uh, touch means wherever you touch on the screen. Device means the camera points at the device. And passive means it doesn't try to control uh, gimbal tilt or pitch, uh, gimbal direction or pitch at all. So we want subject. The subject is a waypoint. And the waypoint is a point of interest, and the point of interest is uh, the one uh, right in front of the house. So let's go to focus trigger number two. Uh, this is an interpolated focus trigger. This is the one that starts the camera panning upward very slowly from pointing at the house to pointing uh, way on the north end of town, uh, bringing more sky into the shot. And uh, then focus trigger number three is we switch back to looking at uh, the house. And, oh, excuse me, focus trigger number three is looking at 724 feet. Oh, that's the top. That's the top focus trigger where we're actually pointing at the uh, far end of the uh north end of town. So here we begin that pan upward at focus trigger two and at focus trigger three we should be then aimed at uh, that uh, point of interest that I put way up on the north end. So that's all the good stuff about the uh, focus triggers we have set up. The other thing's kind of cool about uh, autopilot is that you can run the mission. So let's do that and let you see what we're doing. I'll, I'll speed it up so it doesn't take forever. Uh, let's start the preview. And as soon as the aircraft gets out of where I can touch it, we'll go to two times speed. Now I want you to notice the plan here is we're kind of slow and lazy till we get to waypoint two and then as we begin to gain altitude I want a dramatic acceleration in speed uh, so that as we back away from our point of interest and gain altitude now there you also saw the uh, the camera point of interest change uh, then we'll get up here to waypoint four freeze for five seconds then we hit the the next focus trigger which moves us back to the house and we'll go down to uh, the end of uh, the mission at back at waypoint one okay we're gonna go back here and take a look at Okay, the other thing I wanted to show you here is how the uh, 
camera focus changes. So let me again begin the preview. Let's speed it up. Okay, and let's go out here so you can see that other that other uh, point of interest out there, number three. You can't really see yet, but as soon as we pass the, the focus trigger, it's about to pass now. Now you see the camera beginning to shift its focus to waypoint three, way out there. So at this point, with the aircraft almost at the 300-foot level, we now have a lot of sky in... Uh, in the, in the shot. Okay, well I just wanted you to see how that worked and uh, because it was pretty much the whole me uh, reason for using autopilot uh, for this flight as opposed to Litchie. Litchie is really, I really love uh, Litchie's web uh, design feature where you can go on the web to the Litchie hub and design your mission there. If Autopilot would add that capability, I would think they had pretty much won the battle. Uh, but uh, having to do design the mission on the iPad, uh, for me anyway, is uh, not a plus. So there we go. And uh, now you're going to get to see uh, uh, the Phantom 4 Pro actually fly this mission. It's the first autopilot mission that I have uh, uh, allowed autopilot to control the Phantom 4 Pro. So here we go. Okay, let's turn on the camera. How the hell do you do that? Uh. Okay, are we recording? Okay, there we go. Now we're recording. So let's start engage sequence. Checklist complete. Fixed operator. Takeoff location. Confirm. Continue. <laughs> Here we go.
Thank you.